Hello everyone, myself Sandeep and I welcome you all to in our today's video on basic checklist to be followed while troubleshooting any same time server incident. This video will cover all the basic checks that an administrator should follow before proceeding ahead with the troubleshooting. So without any further delay, let's start with the video. So the first thing we should check whether all the components are able to ping to each other. Then we should perform a telnet request from every component to each other on defined ports. Then we should check whether all the services are running properly or not on the same time community server. Followed by that, we should check for the trusted IPs list on the stconfig.nsf database. Then we should check the same time.inf and chat logging.inf. To move further, we should check the Catalina log file on the proxy server. Here we should check whether our proxy server is properly connected to the community server. And the last, we should check the MongoDB configuration file. We should check whether correct hostname is mentioned in the config file. So let's start with the practical demonstration. So in my environment, I have community server on Windows platform and MongoDB and proxy on Linux platform. So I'll perform a ping request from my community server to MongoDB and proxy. So ping is successful. So the both the ping is successful from community to MongoDB and proxy. So now we will do a ping request from MongoDB to community server. So it's successful. So our first checklist is done to ping from each other. Now we will start with the telnet. So we will telnet to community server on port 1533. So blank screen, it's successful. Now we will do on 1516 port. So blank window, it's successful. Now we will perform 443 telnet request to proxy server. In many environment, it might be on 8443 we have configured a 443 port for proxy.com. It's successful. Now we will perform a MongoDB telnet on port 27017. It's successful. Now we will do the telnet from proxy server to community server. So I'm doing a telnet to community server on port 1516. It's connected. Now we will do a telnet request from proxy server to MongoDB. So it's successful. So with this, we covered on the first two points. One is ping and second is telnet. Now we will see whether all the services are running properly or not on same time community server. So we will open services.msc. So see, this is our services list and you can see every service is running properly. Now the next step is to check the stconfig.nsf on community server. Open the community server stconfig.nsf, open community connectivity and make sure all the IPs are properly listed which are belongs to community server, mongodb, proxy server. If it is properly mentioned, just save and close this file. Now the next point is a same time.ina and chat login.inf. Now in both these files in chat login.inf the host name for the mongodb and port should be precisely mentioned. In same time.inf the mongo uri should be correctly mentioned with the, either with the fqdn of the mongo server or the ip address. Now the next step is on the same time proxy server. Log in the proxy server, navigate to the logs directory and open the recent log file. Here we can notice that our community server is properly connected to our proxy server. Now the next check is on the Mongo console. Navigate to the Mongo console and issue the command rs.config. Here we should make sure that our host name is properly mentioned. 
a proper FKDN should be mentioned here. So that's it with the basic checklist part. Hope you enjoyed the video.